Hello boys and girls, it's your old pal Jgun, and I wanted to make a video today to show you how terrible I am at Baldur's Gate 3, and yet how I'm still somehow advancing in this wonderful game. This is a Dungeons and Dragons style game. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, so I have no clue what I'm doing. I know there are lots of icons on my screen, and at various times some of them will light up, and I'll click them. And half the time it works, so I would say 10% of the time it works 50% of the time. Uh, I have never won a single encounter in this game correctly, playing fairly, because I don't know how to play the game. My characters die, half the time I'm fighting without weapons in my hands, things are just terrible. I, I, don't, I don't understand the game or Dungeons & Dragons at all. But somehow here I am, I think about halfway through it, successfully beating these encounters. So I wanted to show you an example of how I do that. There are environmental hazards that you can look for, and if you're lucky enough, you could just kind of push the bad guys into them. During this encounter, I was fighting this guy. I don't know, he's yellow. I, I had tried to kill him a few times unsuccessfully, and as most encounters go, I'm not doing any damage. All of my characters are pretty much dead. But I saw that there was a hole in the floor and I said, what the hell? I have this spell that pushes people, so why not lure the boss in front of this hole? And all that that requires is that I keep my main character that has this spell alive. So here I am very carefully just doing whatever I can to not let my main character die because she's the only one with the spell. And uh, here, here we go. KJ gun, don't screw this up. And with still like six or seven enemies on the board. Free from the curse. That's now. it. Perhaps you'll find peace. I push the bad guy into a hole. I get some kind of steam right. achievement. Time to see what's new horrors waiting for us. And I feel like I just cheesed the entire encounter. But there you have it. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I hope you learned something useless today.